Hey guys, so some One Piece news has come out of Japan. Now I have a little bit of One Piece cards. I don't have that many of them, but I like the game. I always love the IP. I think it has one of the best IPs of any card game. And I think the artwork is really, really good. So not much to say about that, but as you can see here in Japan, they are greatly reducing some of the manga cards. Now, I don't know what the odds of pulling a manga card is, but everyone is worried that the odds will be one per case. Uh, odds in one piece, so I'm going to go check what the odds are right now. Probability of getting a manga card. One out of four cases is what I've seen from other blank or just walk into Walmart and buy a pack. I don't know. So it doesn't look like these people know. Probability of you pulling it after buying cases, 1%. So no, these people have no idea what they're talking about. So how rare is the pull rate on one piece? Well, in the new set, so they made a new set, which is a reprinted of, so in Malaysia, they actually showed off the new set and has 10 of the manga arts and that is definitely quite interesting right did they increase the pull rates of manga in op04 the manga card rate pull should be in one in two cases that's one in 24 boxes there are other cards that share the same pull rate so it looks like they're one in every two cases and now they're going to be in one in every case of this new set. And this new set will have a reprint of all of these 10 manga art, which is the most valuable cards. And you can see that in Japan, as we are talking, some of them are being reduced all the time, or almost by half. The uh, Luffy, the Law, and the Yushop. Now, what does this mean for these collectors? It's definitely not good news that they were making a reprinted set because it could mean that they could do other reprinted sets. Now, the collectors are very interesting in One Piece. I, I would love to uh, talk to like a really heavy hitter in One Piece. Uh, in my opinion, so they came up with like the first edition Romance Dawn, which is their base set, which is their first set, Alpha. And they're making a big diff deal between blue bottoms and then white bottoms. Blue bottoms being the original and the white bottoms being the reprint. And my explanation, their explanation to me is that there is some changes in the text, right? Like just kind of like how uh, Magic did it from Alpha to Beta and Beta to Unlimited. Some of the text they wanted to change up. And that was the main difference in the cards. Now, I don't know how big that a difference that matters to people when the artwork is exactly the same and uh, here there are slightly differences I think there's a star and then there's also a counterfeit measure that they're using that is not on the first print of the card so the reprinted set will have 10 manga cards and these 10 manga cards will be slightly different they will include a counterfeit measure uh, just like Wizard of Coast does on its new cards. And then they will also include a star. I believe those are the two big differences from my understanding. But in all reality, like what is the difference in that? It still seems like blue bottom, white bottom. Why would I pay four times, five times for a different bottom? I, I don't know. Like, yes, I understand some of the cards are the, the text is different, but some of the cards are exactly the same. And there's no guarantee that you're hit like the cards that really matter with the different text. So in this new set, they have the 10 manga rares, uh, including, uh, it looks like they have Shanks. They got Ace. They got, I don't know who this character is. Shanks, Ace, I don't know this. Um, Sabo, Lol, um, the guy with the iron stuff. Uh, I got, I forget, his name. like Kid, I think his name is Kid. And obviously Luffy, Zoro, Chopper, and Nami. So I would love to pick up the Chopper. I think uh, if, if these things go really well, like people don't understand, like for the collector, it sucks. Unless you're like me. I'm the collector, but I don't own many of these cards. I 
own a few of them. I don't even know what I own. <laughs> Go on eBay. I always just buy them off eBay. I have no idea sometimes what I'm buying from One Piece. Uh, I just think if it's like under five bucks, yeah, it's, it's not terrible, right? Oh, they have Yamato will be reprinted as well. I just bought two of those, unfortunately, in Japanese. So uh, good to know. Yamato will be reprinted. And uh, yeah, it's a very interesting kind of set, I think. Um, in all reality, uh, yeah, it, it's investing in cards is always very dangerous. Um, if you invested in mangas, also they mentioned that uh, in Japanese they can get a god pack where, you know, there's 10 mangas, right? In the U.S., they're not going to get the God Pack. People are a little worried about scalpers. People are saying, oh, the ratio could be different, right? Um, they're saying that we could get two mangas per case. Reprint is okay, but I don't think you can compare restock to a new set. To so many people are saying, oh, this is not a reprint because it's slightly different. Kind of like Romance Dawn wasn't reprinted because the bottom of the box was a different color. That's kind of interesting. Everyone is freaking out. As we currently know, sets one to four manga can be differentiated because the original four didn't have the stamps and stars. If the speculation of a manga per case and they have made mangas from set five and onwards identical, then essentially every 10 cases will add one extra manga to the supply of that specific set's manga count. So people are trying to work out the math. Um, people don't really know what's going on. This is honestly disastrous for collectors. Why wouldn't they put a second anniversary stamp on the reprints would have made? Yeah, I would agree with that. Um, I think if they had like a different stamp, which they do in Weiss sometimes, and Weiss they have like a different signature. So the first set has a gold signature and the second set has a silver signature. Rates are always doubled for US. I wouldn't be shocked if we get two mangas per case. The likelihood of this happening is really high as the precedent, two times the hits of a Japanese case, has been there since day one. Good job, Bandai. So, uh, this is, uh, I'm reading comments off. It looks like this guy, Vampire Gaming, does more. He, maybe he knows more. Uh, it looks like he's got his own little TCG. Let me click on it. TCG player, uh, it doesn't go anywhere. Oh, it's, it's probably like an affiliate link. Okay, that's why I thought it was a store. You know, here's my thing. If you love it, you love it. But please, please, for God's sake, don't spend this type of money if you can't afford it. Because bad things will happen to you. Let me repeat this. Bad things will happen to you if you spend money you don't have. Right, so I'm looking at this reprinted set. I already see, I don't own that many One Piece cards, but I already see that they're reprinting a lot of the cards I do own because they're popular cards, right? And that's what a reprint set should be. It should be the most popular cards. But then, you know, I can't really get upset from it because I can buy this and, you know, get a really good deal on it, I think. But anyway, One Piece, um, not what people thought it was. You know, many of these card games, people really want it to be an investment, investment, and it's just simply not an investment. I don't know what to say. It's just not. And if you treat it as an investment, it probably is going to be a bad day for you. Um, again, very few things are actually investments. Most things are not investments, guys. Um, not not at least in cards, right? Not at least in cards. So anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, if you guys invested in these cards, would you be upset right now? Or is it like too early to tell? I think it might be too early to tell. They don't even know the English rates. They're just assuming stuff. Bye, guys.